Hello everyone, welcome. Um, today we're going to look at sum and difference identities. And these are going to allow us to take, uh, they're going to give it, or they're formulas that are going to allow us to take the sine and cosine of the sum of two, two angles. So let's, uh, let's just pretend that this was the problem. Uh, all I want you to, at this point is to understand is that this, it's tempting to think that this would be equal to the sine of 20 degrees plus the sine of 10 degrees, right? It turns out that's not the case, okay? It would be nice, and what I mean by that is it would be nice if you, you could think of like, oh, we could just distribute that sine to the 20 and to the 10. It turns out that's not how it works. Okay, so you cannot do that. And if you doubt that, just notice that this is this is sine of 30 degrees, right? The one the thing I wrote here. If you just if you just add those two numbers, sine of 30 degrees we know is one half. And if you do this on your calculator, sine of 20 plus sine of 10, you definitely won't get one half. So, but the big the big picture is, you know, in life we like things to be simple and work out nicely, but they don't always do. Uh, they don't always work out like that. So. That's not true. It turns out that the sine of a sum, sine of x plus y, is given by this formula here. And the sine of x minus y is given by that formula here. And likewise, the cosine of a sum, x plus y, is given by this formula. And the cosine of a difference, x minus y, is given by this formula. So these there are four formulas here, but there's actually a nice little uh, I guess you call it like a little rhyme that helps you remember those formulas. And so I'm not going to talk about it. Maybe we can talk about it in class. I'm not going to talk about it, but see if you can figure out, you know, as I'm doing these problems, how I'm how I'm using these little phrases to help me remember, help me remember the formulas. Okay. So our goal here in these examples is to evaluate the sine of 75 without a calculator. So, so far we haven't been able to do this because, you know, we can do things like sine of 45 degrees without a calculator. We can do sine of 30 degrees, right? We can do these without a calculator. We could do sine of, uh, you know, 90 degrees. Those are all ones that we can do without a calculator, but we can't so far do this without a calculator. So... How do these sum and difference identities help me? Well, they help me because since I have a formula for the sine of a sum and a difference, I can get this answer if I just rewrite 75 degrees as a sum, perhaps, as something plus something. So what I want to do is think about two angles that I know how to take the sine of, that when I add them together, I get 75. So if you think for a few seconds, you should you should realize that 75 degrees is 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. And so if I write it this way, now I'm, I'm allowing myself to use this formula above. And so let's use that formula. So let me, I'm going to write down how I, and, and pay attention to how I actually write it, write down the formula. So I say to myself, sine, I leave a space, Cos, same, cos, sine, and then I go and input the angles. This is like my x and my y, 30, 45, 30, 45, 30, 45. Good. And so now, this is this problem, since I know that this, you know, this equals this equals this, uh, now I can evaluate each piece because I know the sine of 30, I know the cosine of 45, etc. So I'm going to, since I know those answers, I'm not going to go through the details of how, how to do the sine of 30 degrees. You can go look at that. Everyone in, in the class should know how to do that by now. But I, since I, I mean, I've been doing this for a while, so I can just do it quickly. That's one half. That's the sine of 30 times 1 over root 2 plus cosine of 30 is uh, 
root 3 over 2. And the sine of 45 is 1 over root 2. Okay, and now we just take a note, take notice at this point of the trig's done. We just have to kind of simplify this fraction here. These fractions are being multiplied, and we multiply fractions by doing the numerators multiplied over the denominators multiplied. So I get 1 over 2 root 2 plus root 3 times 1 is root 3, and 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2. And now these have the same denominator, so I could just write it as 1 plus root 3 divided by 2 root 2. And that, to me, is sufficient. <clears throat> okay, so again, we rewrote this angle as a sum, applied a formula, and evaluated without a calculator. Let's try this last one, or this next one right here. Cosine of 7 pi over 12. So again, 7 pi over 12 is not, uh, even if we reduce the fraction, which it can't be reduced, it's not like, you know, our cosine of pi over 6, which we know how to do without a calculator, or cosine of pi over 3. It's a little, uh, it, it's, it's, one, it's an angle that we don't know how to take the cosine of. But we may be able to split this up as a sum or difference of two angles that I know how to take the cosine of. So you actually have two options here. One is to just turn this into degrees and kind of treat it like this problem. So that's one option. That might be more helpful for you, but it also you know, takes a little bit of time to turn it into degrees. Turn that into degrees. I'm going to just keep it in radians, and I'm going to think to myself, how can I, how can I rewrite 7 pi over 12, that angle, as the sum of two, two angles? Well, I'll first start by noting that if I'm going to add two angles, the denominators are going to have to be 12. And how can I break up 7, seven pi in a way that's going to allow me to, to get angles here that I can take the cosine of? Let's try, uh, let's try 3 pi and 4 pi. So you should just check. This is a true statement, right? 7 pi over 12 is equal to 3 pi plus 4 pi. But notice this reduces to the cosine of, this reduces to pi over 4, right? 3 pi over 12 is pi over 4 plus, and this is pi over 3. And now, those are familiar angles, right? I can take the cosine of both of those. But first, I've got to apply my formula. So again, note how I write down the formula. Cosine, cos, op opposite sine sine again I'm not I'm, I'm using that rhyme you see if you can figure out what I'm how I'm using it and then I just alternate pi over 4 pi over 3 pi over 4 pi over 3 okay and then I evaluate each of these pieces like I did before so I'm just going to do that to finish off the problem cosine of pi over 4 is 1 over root 2 times this is uh, 1 over 2 minus this is 1 over root 2 and this is root 3 over 2. So I get my final answer to be or We had a room here. Just it's one more uh, minus root three over two root two. Okay, all done without a calculator because of these nice formulas.